Finding the perfect sound effect in DaVinci Resolve can sometimes feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You're not alone, I know, because I've been there too. And that's why I started using this new tool called Crotos, because it allows me to create a sound effect in real time, drag and drop it right into the timeline, and I'm good to go. And it's been a game changer because it really changes the way that I create sound effects and I can make them fit right in the scene that I have. I know this video is not sponsored. I just think it's an amazing tool that saves a lot of time and helps you fit your sound effects right in with whatever the scene is that you're working on. So let's jump in Resolve and I'm gonna show you how this tool works. I'm in the edit page here and we're gonna use Krotos to create our sound effects for these different clips right here. So let's just say we want to maybe look at this fight scene right here. And it's just, this is stock footage. So we want to add in sound effects to really sell this entire scene. So in order to use the Krotos tool, we're going to want to jump over into Fairlight. Now in Fairlight here, the way that I've kind of liked to work is create a couple of tracks because in general, you're going to want a few tracks for sound effects, just so you can kind of overlap things a little bit. And I'm going to start with audio track one right here. And in order to load up the Krotos tool, there's a few ways you could do it. But one way is to come to your effects, click on the little plus. We're going to come down to instrument VST and we have Krotos Studio right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once you've gone ahead and added in Croto Studio, you'll see it appears as an input on our track one. And we can add it as an input on any one of our tracks if we'd like, or we could put everything on track one and just move things around. But this is what the window looks like right here. And essentially you can go through, create your own sound effects, and then just drop it into your timeline really quick and easy. And you can see along the left here, there's all kinds of different things. You want ambiences. And if you click on any one of these, let's just say city, for example, it's gonna pop up a little thing over here. It's gonna have different options and things that you can change as far as how it sounds. You can add on some quick effects, but you don't even need to. You could just play with the sections that will appear up here in the top of the window, and it's gonna record it, and then you could just put it right into your timeline. It's so cool. So for example, if we wanted to uh, do something with the city here, we could say start. You can adjust these a little bit, more traffic. Maybe you want more sirens. It's gonna record your sound effect right here. I can hit stop and it's as easy as just coming over here. You can grab it, drag it into resolve, drop it in. And now it's in DaVinci Resolve. So if I move this window out of the way, come to my in and out points here, zoom in a little bit. We can see what's going on in my clip here. We do have to turn off the arm for record here so we can hear it. So I'm gonna just double click that. Really cool, if we wanna open the window back up, we can come to our mixer here and just click on the little middle icon there. And we may need to turn it back on by clicking the little red dot there, now it's back on. We can see there's a T lit up here, so it's gonna record our sound effect. So let's say maybe we come to popular, I want a whoosh, right? Let's see what that sounds like. I mean, you can make it however you want. It's amazing. I mean, there's just so many sound effects in here. You want footsteps, boots outside. This is great because I can watch my video and make the footsteps match with my video while it's playing back. Amazing. There's all kinds of different Foley sounds. You want cinematic sounds, there's cinematic sounds. And you literally just grab the little dial here or the little dot in this case and move it around and make the sound however you want it to sound. You can do it, you can redo it. It'll start and stop recording for you. And then you just drag and drop it and resolve. It's it, it's really quite an amazing tool. How about Flashback Psycho, what do we got for that? If you click on that, it'll open it up. Sometimes these look a little different. You're gonna have different things that you can add into the sound. And then you could click and hold and drag this around to trigger the sound effect to start. I mean, if that ain't cool, I don't know what is. I mean, I just, I played with this thing forever when I first got it. There's so much cool stuff in here. So let's try and build out this scene a little bit here. So we can keep in our little city noise there. We can adjust the volume if we want. I'll bring it down a little bit. But let's say now we want to go over on to track number two here and add in some sound effects on track number two. So I'm just going to come to my effects, instrument, VST, Croto Studio. And it does help sometimes if you've got an extra window or you got more space on your screen where you can push over the sound effect uh, window a little bit just so you've got 
more that you can look at. So I've set some in and out points here around this particular clip, and uh, I can even pop out the window here so I can see it a little bit bigger. So in the scene here, it looks like the first thing is a push. So I can come and I can search for push right up here, or I can look through the different options that I've got and try and find something there. But I'm gonna just say push, and then we could just try different things to see what might sound good. So if I do this fierce fire here, maybe something like that might work. Or let's try uh, not a water splash, but maybe a snowball, I don't know. Maybe something like jeans here, that would work pretty good probably. And you could just keep remaking the sound effect until you get something you like. Say I like something like that, drag it in the timeline. And if I wanted to do it while I'm watching back the video, I could just play through the video. Maybe there's other parts where I want to use the same sound. I mean, it's just that easy, right? Drag and drop it in. And then right where he fell down there, it's kind of like this, back, we'll line it up here. And in order to hear it in the track, we just have to turn off the letter T here so that it's not recording onto that track. Here we go. Not bad, right? And we can adjust the levels of it and everything later on, but we want to just go through and get the sound effects in there first. So we have two people fighting here, so let's go with, uh, look for some like human noise. I could even try searching for fight. Just gonna turn it back on there in my track. So maybe also I like a sound like this, right? We've got a combat section here, a punch and collapse. Let's try it out. Not bad, we could use it where he's putting the guy up against the wall or something also. Maybe I wanna add in, I don't know, some electro morph. You could just look through all these different sound effects and come up with an awesome way to make whatever the scene is come alive in your particular video. And the cool part is you can drag and drop it onto any track too. So it works out really good. Got a heartbeat, that's kinda cool. Maybe add in a little heartbeat there. I kind of like that. Drop it in. Because that guy is scared, so his heart is beating. I'm going to scroll down to drone here. And uh, we're going to pick some kind of cool living drone. Living bliss. Uh, mysterious. Drop that onto a new track here. It's just so cool the amount of stuff you could do with Krotos here. There is just so many sound effects that they've built in and then you can just change them and make them however you need for your particular video. Super awesome. And just a few other things to show you here with the Krotos window. Again, like I said, you could search for whatever sound you're looking for. And if we come along the top here, if we click on the second icon here, there's actually libraries that you can download of all different kinds of uh, sound effects so that you can then open it in the studio here and then create the sound that you want. There's vehicles, they're constantly adding new things. There is a pro version where you can create your own sound effects. Um, there's glitches. I mean, there's just so much stuff in here that, that they're always adding in. And really there's no sound that I haven't found that I wanted to use yet. There's some great risers and whooshes and things like that that are really cool. And if you have the pro version, that's where you can add in your own sound effects and then create all kinds of different stuff. Now I don't have like the, the pro version of it. I'm just using the, the regular studio. Um, but something I might look into one day to create my own sound effects is to maybe try out the pro version. And then if there's a sound that maybe you're looking for but you can't find it and, and you search for it and it's not really giving you what you want, you can come to the AI right here, type in a little description of what you're looking for and then see if it can find it that way for you or create it for you. And if you're a creator, I just wanna show you this part real quick. They have a whole section for creators called Creator. You've got your classic whooshes in here. You've got mouse clicks. And you literally just click around to make it sound however you want. You got bubble pops, cash register. You got drain gurgles, cameras. You, you have a camera in your shot. 
keyboards maybe. Elemental whooshes. Different kind of tonal stuff. You've got vehicles, you've got all kinds of stuff in here that you could use for your videos if you're a creator. The whooshes and stuff are great, I've used them a lot just to make the whoosh fit exactly with the transition or the scene or the whatever it is I'm trying to match that whoosh up with. So I'm going to speed through me using the Croto Studio to add sound design to all these different clips. And then I'm going to play that for you so you can see what it sounds like using Croto Studio and the sound effects that come in there. And then I want to know, what do you guys think? Is this something that you think is cool? Would you use it? Would you not? What are your thoughts on it? I definitely want to hear your comments down below. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to play those samples for you and we'll catch up here at the end. So I just went through, didn't take too much time, dropped in a bunch of stuff there. Just tried to make something cool real quick here for you guys. Here's what I came up with. Let me go ahead and play that. Of course, there's tons of options. You can make it sound however you want. But here's just a little something that I did real quick. And then right after this, I just want to show you something really cool. They got tons of great weapons in here. I'm just going to play through that so you guys can hear those too. So check this out. What do you guys think? Is this something that you think is cool? I mean, I thought it was so cool. I could just sit there and play with the different sounds forever, but it's really great at coming up with like different pads and sounds and environments and ambience and that kind of stuff underneath your video, just to kind of help sell the scene a little bit. Really cool tool here. Just something that I've been using lately that I thought you guys might enjoy seeing and maybe it's something that you might want to use. I have talked to people who've used this for entire movies and maybe they have the, uh, the full on version of it, the pro version uh, where they can also create their own sound effects as well, but have used this for movies. And I mean, it's just a really great tool. It's got so much in it. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below. Again, this is not sponsored. No, no, uh, kickbacks for me, anything like that. It's just something that I think is cool. And, uh, that I wanted to share with you guys because knowledge is power. And when it comes to working, we all want to be able to do our stuff better, work faster, work smarter, and uh, not work harder and also save time, right? Time is money, baby. All right, thanks so much, Krotos. And uh, with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.